Hey Mikey, Benicia, obviously. Corporal Bollenbacher. Boom, and we just wanted to come and say thank you so much for your sweet, sweet letters and this beautiful drawing. Awesome picture. That's incredible. Like, that looks just like me. Like, do you guys see that? That is, oh, I love it. And it's actually going to be hung on my wall. So I wanna say that thank you for the gifts that you sent. I've actually already eaten my vegan chocolate bar, but I love that you had your mom send a vegan chocolate bar. I got your bracelet on. Boom, we absolutely love it. And thank you so much for your continued support. We are praying for you and we will do our absolute best to fulfill every wish that you listed in your letter. Thanks Mikey for all the gifts. I got the bracelet on, Ooh. I like the cup. Um, I hope you have a Merry Ooh. Christmas. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's. Boom, and we will hopefully see you very, very soon. We'll be in touch. Bye Mikey. Good morning, everyone. It's Benicia, your community outreach specialist, and I am here bringing you an extra special vlog today. Extra special, it's near and dear to my heart. We are out in Charlotte County, in Port Charlotte, and we are with the Peace River Search and Rescue Volunteer Group. So, I will get you some more information on all they do um, and everything that we do to assist them as much as we can, but all of these members that you see, we're just getting started today. There's gonna be a canine demo uh, within the bite suit. They're gonna have them out on the boat as well. They're gonna be flying a drone. They do a lot of different things, but these are all volunteer based. So they do some incredible work. Gonna meet some of these individuals, talk to you about what they do. So just stay tuned. Let's see what we can get into and let's have some fun. I am, I'm P.T. Barnum and this is my circus. This is our circus. <laughs> but actually, everyone, this is Mike, the founder of Peace River. So he is going to break it down for us. Well, first of all, say hello to our subscribers. Hello, everybody. Hey, hey. Thanks for subscribing and taking care Ooh, of Pasco. We love thank Pasco. You. Sure. There you go. And if you haven't already and gals. subscribed. gals, too. <laughs> if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so right yep. now. But talk to us a little bit about Peace River. I just, it was really brief what I mentioned. So tell us what you guys do. Um, it's phenomenal. We are a... Florida Corporation 501c3. Mm -hmm. We uh, supply for professionally trained uh, search assets for full mm -hmm. force multiplication of law enforcement searches. I love it. And then we also help families with private searches when they're still looking for their loved ones. Uh, they have areas that need to be checked or searched. We'll go out and help them. That's get that awesome. Done too. We have 21 canine units. We have horse units, we have drone mm -hmm. units, we have... Uh, Well-rounded, uh, we Yeah, well we got all kinds of stuff <laughs> out here today, and we had it out here mm -hmm. today so everybody could see it and, and come out and see everything that we do. And that's incredible. So you guys basically, you're not law enforcement. Everyone here is a volunteer. We're all volunteers. And it's, I heard in January is when you guys bring on new members, if possible, you yeah. know, if they're, what's the, so it's not just for Port, cause we're out in Port Charlotte, everyone, I told you. It's not just for members that live in Port Charlotte. No. Nope. It's anywhere. We have members from St. Pete down to Collier County. Love and, it. Uh, we, uh, they come in and we train them up. We have mm -hmm. SAR Academy starts in mid-January. Mm -hmm. It runs for four months, and we teach them how to be a professional-level searcher. I love that. And they learn how to do everything from wilderness survival mm -hmm. to land navigation, first aid, uh, advanced first aid, and then they have their canine handling skills. If they're going to be a canine, if they're going to be a scuba diver, then they go to advanced scuba That's training. Really cool. um, if they're going to do the drones, then they're out working with the drone team. And uh, so there's a lot of a lot of things they get to do, mm -hmm. but we all start off in SAR Academy. I and love so that's that. Really going. And there's no sort of guys. I've seen the smallest of pups to the yeah. largest of pups. <laughs> there are more than just German shepherds yeah. out here. Okay, you guys have seen the clips. We have a wide array of pups that are yeah. out here. But that's really cool. So you guys are kind of like the bridge. I heard earlier you said you're not law enforcement. Everyone is a volunteer, 
but you're the bridge to the family because right. it's true we can't law enforcement you can't continue a search for weeks and weeks and weeks as much there's as you would price want tag to and there is uh, the, the uh, police department has a price tag and mm -hmm. there's only so much money they have a budget they have to live within their budget and when the leads don't justify the expenditures anymore they have to slow the search yeah. down so that's usually when our phone lights up and the family calls and says we still have some areas we want to check and search will you help us and then we'll contact the mm -hmm. law enforcement agency or the detective in charge and say, hey, we've got this case number. This is guys want us to help. Do you mind if we help them? Mm -hmm. And then they say, usually they say, no, thank God. Go, <laughs> throw, go help them help, and then report, report back mm -hmm. what, uh, what you find. And uh, we do. We, we give them a full report and we give the family a report. And then that way everybody knows what we're doing. I love that. Um, so we're out there helping uh, keep moving. And we've had very, some, uh, many very successful searches. So funding, yep. law enforcement. Yep. It runs out at some point. Yeah, they, mm -hmm. they, run, they use up their budget, and then they, they can still do things, but they have to have really good leads in order to justify the expense. Whereas mm -hmm. with us, we'll just go look. So, and that's where you guys come into play. Come in. And so we can either multi we uh, force multiply for the search. Mm -hmm. Someone's the sheriff calls us. We get out there with 60 trained searchers who know the job, that. and they're ready to hit the ground. They go right to work. They mesh right in with law enforcement, so they know just what to do. And then on the other side, when the family's struggling and they need some help, we can help them out too. So I absolutely love sides. that. How can anyone help or find out? Can they? Do we have a um, website that I can put in the description? Website. Okay. Uh, www.prsar.org. I love it. I will put that in the description for all of you below. And they have a Facebook page. Okay. You can come to our Facebook page, and we'll catch you there. Boom. And, uh, and that's it. So. And stay tuned, maybe for the next event. You can come out and see. Yeah, it was really. Hear from this people, was a so. really cool event. This was really cool. Awesome. Thank but you. thank you for meeting our subscribers. The I mean, I try, guys. I try. I didn't tell him to say that. <laughs> Corporal Miller. Hey, how you doing? Good. All right. How are you? So I'm good. I'm doing great. Okay. We're out here at Peace River. Okay. Yes. You have a family member that is going to participate in you doing a demo. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. What's going to happen? Uh, my daughter's here. She's nine years old. Mm -hmm. And because Absolutely there's a, adorable. A, a large crowd here, thank you. Because there's a large crowd here, we don't get to train like this much. So what's going to happen is she's going to walk away from this park like uh, an abduction. Somebody says, hey, you know, come with me. Your dad told me to pick you up. Whatever. Scary. Walks off with a child. And uh, that's going to be a very bad day when I get called to one for real. Yep. But ultimately probably going to get called to a park just like this mm -hmm. filled with hundreds of people. Mm -hmm. So she's going to walk off. And maybe for training purposes, maybe 15 or 20 minutes after she walks off, I uh, have a shirt that she slept in last night. We're going to show Buster. And he's going to see if we can go find her amongst all these people. Awesome. I, I'm a little confident. Just a little confident. I, I hope he'll do all right. Yeah. He's done well I'm so pretty far. sure. <laughs> this water demo they're about to do is going to be amazing. If you've never seen one, here we go. they're, uh, they're going to put a cadaver dog mm -hmm. on the boat. And he's going to get out on the bow of the boat. There's some cadaver material hidden out here in the uh, Mayaka River. And he's going to go find it. When they get close, the dog will bark or alert somehow. Let's see what they can do. Putting that button here, perfect position. And here he comes. Oh. He's following the odor, and he calls it. And there it is, right there. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, canine Dima. Uh, that was cool. A mile or so, and then through a Walmart, and then found the individual at the back of Walmart. With all the people in there, which is a pretty incredible thing to do. So, and there he goes. I, don't, I personally don't think there's anything prettier than a good bloodhound when he's working. So, there you go. That's where Dama did her damage right there. Hey, track. He likes those damage girls.
I got on the best shoes to run in. That's, yeah. They walked out. They left from over there where we were watching the boat demo, walked down the seawall, and walked up this road that we traveled, and then turned and came back in here through the parking lot. So he was on them. It's hard when there's all these people walking around, and she's been walking around here since, you know, 8.30 this morning. Hi, come here. Come here. Oh, I know. I know, he's okay. Yeah, we didn't cross the road. We went on this side. The wind is blowing that way. So he's going to track down wind to where you walk. Especially out there on the road on the hardest surface. Back. It was nothing for you. Oh. Say, so Buster is just a little big for me to handle. <laughs> but our future Pasco Sheriff Canine Handler right there. Okay, so I hope you all got to enjoy seeing the Peace River search and rescue event that was today. Of course, everyone's basically gone because, you know, we're always first to get here, last to leave. But what these men and women do is absolutely incredible. I just want to point out, there's Beamer. Beamer was the dog earlier on the boat who is a cadaver dog. Do we see how cute Beamer is? Beamer's about 10 pounds. I'm just saying. But stay tuned for the next video. And again, if you haven't already, go ahead and like this video. If you thought that it was interesting, comment below something that you thought was cool or anything that you have to say. But I will see you next time, guys. And thanks for following and thanks for tuning in.